Hi, this is Quant Namaz. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll show you an easy way to backtest your trading strategies in Excel uh, with a bar chart API. So these days you have quite a lot of uh, nice data APIs available to you. And some of these APIs can help you quite a lot in uh, your strategy backtesting. And in this video, we'll show you one example. It's bar chart API. This API is, has pretty nice functionality and other coverage. And let me show you how easy it is uh, to backtest um, a strategy in Excel using bar chart API just in a few minutes. So first let's get the data. So it's quite easy to do that in uh, bar charts. So just click this history button. Let's find uh, something you want to backtest. Let's take Apple. And the best part about bar chart API is that actually you can apply some study and calculate Comp pretty complicated uh, multiple indicators based on uh, your symbol on fly. And this is actually is uh, pretty interesting. Let's add a few indicators. I will add blinger bands, for example. Let's uh, also um, add like moving average. Let's add exponential moving average of, let's say, a period of 20 and period of uh, 50, for example. And that's it. Uh, let's um, add daily historical price, let's add um, splits and dividend adjusted data. Let's make it ascending, it will be easier for us this way. And also let's output, I don't know, 10,000 bars. It will be pretty much all the history of Apple. So let's insert it. And just in a few seconds, you will see that your data will be added to your Excel and your uh, custom indicators will be calculated nicely for you without you actually doing a much. Now let's calculate uh, signals for our backtesting and backtesting performance itself. So let's start with uh, signals. So um, here we'll create a few columns. So it will be long entry, um, long exit, short entry, and short exit. I will explicitly create all these four columns and after that I will use these columns in my backtesting. So I have to create a long entry condition. So for example, I want to enter to a position when my close price cross over upper Bollinger Bands and in the same time, my fast moving average is above, above, above slow moving average. So it's quite common. So let's create this logic as a formula in Excel. So I will use end statement and inside, I will check that uh, or my previous close is um, below previous blinker bands and um, current close is above current blinker bands. And um, I have to add here that my current moving average, the fast moving average is above uh, slow uh, moving average. So that's basically it. You can save this and just propagate it to all. Um, all my records and as you can see we have here false and or true variables so it seems uh, to work. So my um, long exit um, signal will be even easier so I will quit my long position when price cross a blinker band uh, middle um, line and um, it's even easier to code so I have to check that previous close um, so I have to use and function again and I will check that previous close is uh, above uh, my middle blinker bands and uh, also my current close is below uh, my current blinker bands uh, medium that's propagated for all column for all records as you can see we also have here true or false um, values so it seems uh, to work so short entry will be just uh, same but opposite I will copy my formula, I will pass it here. And here, what I need to change is that. So I have to change upper blinker band to lower and uh, change basically signs in all uh, my uh, expressions here. And also um, exponential moving average fast should be below a slow. So, and here also, instead of um, like G column, I have to use I column. So let's change that as well and here as well. So that's it. 
it seems uh, to work let's propagate it and short exit will be same as uh, long exit just opposite here here it's just easy for me to change just the signs it's greater here and lower here so we propagate this as well it seems uh, to work so now let's calculate performance uh, for our backtesting itself to compute performance of my backtesting, I have to compute only two more columns. So first column is equity, and um, let's, for example, put a thousand here. So we start with a thousand dollars, and second one is quantity. So what is my current position size? And I will put a zero here for now. Now let's create a formulas to create a kind of updated equity for every day. So my equity for every day is my previous equity. And here we need to add basically profits for the current day. And we can calculate profits for the current day as previous day quantity and multiply that by difference in our price. So today's close price minus previous close price. And that's basically it. We can propagate this for now. So, but still our quantity is zero. We need to uh, create a formula to create uh, this quantity. For a long short position, it's a bit trickier, but it's also not so uh, complicated. So let's create um, this as a nested if, uh, if formulas. And um, first of all, let's check that if basically for today we have long entry signal, uh, this means that we have to enter to a long position and we can compute our quantity as our current equity dividing by basically close price and this way we will invest all equity we have into this position basically 100 percent of what we have so if not this is not the case i will create another if uh, statement and here i will check that this is actually a short uh, short basically signal so we need to go into the short position and i will also will invest 100 percent of what i have but here I just need to change the sign for it. And um, I need the last if a statement. And in this statement, I will use or function and I will check that. OK, if that's uh, or long exit or short exit, I will um, basically put my um, my position, my quantity to zero. And in all other cases, I will use a previous quantity. Let's I change it this way and let's propagate it to um, to all rows and as you can see it seems uh, to work we have uh, here like a negative position basically a negative quantity so it's short position and as you can see quantity changes accordingly to our position here we have long position and also as you can see during uh, the periods when our position is not flat our equity changes with our position so that's basically it. Um, you have here your equity and it's quite easy to go and get performance of your uh, backtesting. You can jump you know, to your last, um, your last record, subtract you know, like first uh, your equity and you get like total amount of money you got. Also, we can compute more complicated uh, metrics from here, you know, like annualized return, sharp, uh, max drop down, you know, volatility and so on. It's not so complicated to do as well. Also, you can go and pretty easily and plot your um, your equity line to see how uh, it looks. It's probably not perfect for like 35 years of trading Apple, but still, I think you got the point. Of course, this was pretty simple example. You can create much more complicated logic in terms of in technical indicators, money management, probably you can put some, you know, stop losses or trading stop losses, whatever you want. You can still do that in Excel uh, pretty easily. But I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next one.